Shabbat Shalom. It is the Sabbath. It is Saturday. Shalom. Um, I was just telling my wife how uh, how that Shabbat Shalom really en enriches um, me from the standpoint of uh, knowing that this is how my ancestors said it. This is how Moses would have said it to the Israelites. This is how Joshua said it. Or Joseph said it. A Jacob said it. Or, man. It really feels good. Um, I had an incident last night to where I had to uh, rebuke a demon. And the thing is, I had dealt with this demon a few times, but ne not necessarily effective in my in my thwarts of uh, sending it back from whence it came. And I'm going to tell you, there's a way that you have to do it and there's a right way. But here's the here's the thing. Right is the root word of righteousness or righteous. You have to be righteous in your judgment and any facet of your walk when you exercise it. And I'm going to tell you this. You're right. Well, you're righteous when you're right in the Lord, when you're right in your walk. So I can't necessarily deal with the spirit accordingly and effectively if i'm not right in it you know if i've given league to it and i haven't repented or if i haven't um if if i if, if i'm not if i'm not correct in my correcting not being correct in how to uh correct but correct from the standpoint of righteous like i'm good um my armor is 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 unkinked you know what I mean? Um, it's it's uh, without spot or blemish. Blameless. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Blameless. And without spot or blemish. I can't have any. I can't have any. Uh, I can't be blameless um, um, when I'm correcting or when I'm ejecting or, or casting and loosening binding and loosening um matthew eighteen eighteen comes to mind when it says whatever shall be bound on earth shall be bound bound in heaven whatever shall be loosed on earth shall be loosed in heaven now i was just explaining this to myself actually i was just kind of talking about it you know, walking and talking in the spirit that the kingdom of course resides in us remember our savior said his kingdom is not of this world so until earth the the, the new heaven the, the heaven comes down and makes a new earth, as it talks about in Revelations. Our kingdom re resides in here. That's where our refuge is at Psalms 91. So when we, I won't say as much as we retreat back in the spirit, eventually we should be just walking in it. We shouldn't have to keep retreating there because in warfare, we need to be where it's safe, where we're protected. And so eventually it'll come to ahead in regards to warfare that we're not retreating back to our place of solitude our place of ref refuge our place of safety we should already be there that's the spirit and so um and and being right and righteous in your warfare and wielding the weapons of the uh, of warfare that are not carnal and of this world but i'm talking about the ephesians weapons the 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 the, the sword of truth the shield of righteousness, the the head, uh, excuse me, the, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the the head, the girt, the the, the, the loins girt, the the sandals, all the good things. Um, we should be wearing them in a way that's not wishy washy. We should be um, confident and courageous. That is, for sure, charged by the Holy Spirit. And that we are righteous. We are, we are doing it the right way, meaning we are righteous. We are worthy. You know, we are we are uh, charged by the Holy Spirit and not, and not ourselves. Um, and so, um, if you're dealing with a a, a prince, a demon, a, a spirit, a demon, a principality, even even more so, you have to be right. In your ways of doing it. First you have to be right. I can't. 
I can't have masturbated last night and then get attacked by uh, Succubus and thwart off his advances and, and, and fight him effectively. I'm not right, meaning I'm not righteous in what I'm doing because there's righteous judgment in what you're doing. You're calling that spirit forth with your authority set forth by you, by the Jesus that inhabits you. And you are righteously judging this spirit as in you're out of order because I am of order. All right. Order lives here. All right. Faith lives here. I you're out of order. This is the court of the most high that you, I have called you in with my authority. I am righteous with it. I have I am a licensed authority in this. All right. I have uh, I have I have say so in this matter because I am righteous and right in the way that I'm doing it. If you don't come correct, it's not going to. I used to say. When people used to come to me with like issues or drama and, and, and just come out, you know, totally whatever. I'm like, hey, you either address me correctly or don't address me at all. There's a certain way of doing things. There's a right way in the word of God. There's a right way in the faith. There's a right way in the word of in spiritual warfare of doing things. Otherwise, your authority will not be recognized like uh how it what was it in i believe maybe acts when the the two guys call themselves calling upon the name of jesus he said and the spirit said paul i know jesus i know who are you and then they proceeded to get tormented so uh there's there's a right way to do it meaning righteous way to do it we have to be we have to be right in our way of judging meaning righteous i'm talking about being able to call a demon forth and they know his name and they flee and they flee because of the jesus in you you're righteous the word says he became sin for those who knew no sin that means jesus became sin for those us who knew no sin so that right so that we may have the righteousness of god and who and him and him is jesus but he has to be in us for us to exercise that righteousness so we are right you feel me so uh i think that's all i'm supposed to say thank you holy spirit for guiding my tongue wait there's nothing else so uh you all have a blessed sabbath um and uh hmm i had something that i wrote down that uh the Holy Spirit gave me this morning. It was, um, and it was kind of in the form of a rhyme. And it said, "The de uh, they usually catch us while we're sleeping." And I and I mean it. They literally catch us while we're sleep in sleeping. They creep in in a state where we're weakened, usually on the weak end, so they can torture us throughout the week. And and that's where I left off. And so understand the understand these attacks for what they are. They keep you in the state of perpetual fear, perpetual stress, perpetual strife. I'm talking about when I say perpetual, it's a cycle and you have to break it. You have to break it. You have to break it. If you don't break it, you're subjected to these attacks whenever they want to come in. When you give lead, when it says, you know, we should not give lead to Satan when leak is is. Is, is a requisite of permission uh, You've granted uh, Permission You've given your authority over There's so much of that verbiage In regards to How we uh, uh, Don't recognize our Authority to where You know there, uh, there are two instances I know one for sure but there's another one The instance of where we gave Ourself over yeah there it is It's uh gave ourself over To our own I think it's in Thessalonians uh, where it's talking about the Antichrist. Um, we, we gave ourselves over. We also give ourselves over to a reprobate mind. These are the enemy doesn't take unless we give. It's a handshake. All right. He 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 doesn't take unless we're in the spirit of giving it over to him where the word says we gave ourselves over. So we have to understand these attacks for what they are we've either given league to a spirit to come in permission open the door or somebody has sent him sent 
them on their behalf. And um, we have to recognize that for what it is. There are two facets of spiritual warfare, one to where you've ignorantly or willingly let something in or somebody has sent something. Either way, the same universal um, uh, uh, methods apply as far as how you get them out. All right. You have to be righteous and called righteous judgment in judging this spirit of unorderly, unlawful spirit as in, hey, I'm lawful. I'm orderly. Um, lawlessness can't 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 reside here. Uh, God is of decency and order. All right. I have the righteousness of God in me through him who came and shed his blood for me. Um, everything needs to be done in decency and order. I am a man of order. I am a vessel of order. Disorder can't can't be here. You know what I mean? In Romans eight sixteen, where it talks, I believe it's six. No, no, no. Romans eight. For I think it is where it talks about the law being fulfilled by he who is in you. Um, that means if he's in me, lawlessness can't live here. You can't serve two masters. You can only have one. That's it. Hallelujah. Thank you. Have a blessed and uh, wonderful Sabbath, wonderful day, wonderful uh, time with your, your family. And um, I'll talk to you later. Shalom.